Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Shoriful. This tutorial is about system requirement for your Cypress installation. It means, you know, how you can set up your environment, your machine, so that, you know, it can understand uh, the Cypress command, Cypress uh, project. So you have to make it a radio system. So we're going to see from the very beginning, from the scratch, you know, to prepare your machine, the prerequisite or pre-requirement stuff that you need to be on your machine before you, we start uh, any Cypress project. Let's go. Okay, so here is the bullet points uh, that we we're going to follow, you know, through this uh, this video as well as the uh, next uh, probably couple of or, or two more videos that will help us, you know, to set up your system. Uh, to install a Cypress project uh, from the very scratch uh, with the empty project. So first things you need download node as per your system. It means you have to download node because Cypress is based on Node.js or Java uh, JavaScript uh, you know language. So to run any JavaScript uh, uh, framework or automation code you need node on your system it's like you know to run java automation uh, framework in selenium you need a java on your machine the similar you need a node you know js on your system so that when you are going to write the no javascript code i mean you know on your cypress and you will execute it will execute through that node on your machine so this is the node is like you know the platform that will you know understand the javascript uh, you know code from your uh, automation framework so download the node.js on your system so how can you download this very uh, easy so if you just you know open your browser and then search over here download you can suggest node.js and go to their official site and here you can just let me you can go here and then you know as per your system if your system is Windows right you can go to over here Windows and Windows it has a you know different to be 32 or 64 bits mostly 64 bits now you know you can download you can click on there and you know uh, it will be installed download dot MSI file you know, so if you just click on there, it will see you'll see it's uh, in a node, the, which is the version is 14 and that M MSA file. So it is a uh, exe file. All you need to after is download. You know, just click on. If you just click on, you know, it will open and then go. You know, follow the wizard and finish the uh, you know setup. It's a very simple setup. I'm not going to do it because I have already installed on my machine. So after you finish the you know the installation, it should be it should be let me close it it should be on your c drive on your c directory so it means if you go in c drive in your program files and then it should be node should be here uh, you can see node.js okay so here is all the node.js related file so it should be there okay so that's the first thing you need to do and after that what's next next is you need to create a node underscore home variable environment variable on your system so let's sh show you where where that environment variable and why you need okay sorry that's a typo and ode so if you go to your system just type uh, probably edit or s advanced you know system environment variable or advanced settings come over here environment variable come here and then you can see after underneath this system variable you can go here you can see you know you just click on new then this is a new system variable where you can create a new system variable give a variable name like a node you know node or just like node underscore home and 
here is the the value of this variable it means you have to pass the directory path of your node you know uh, where uh, where you have downloaded so it's on your C drive remember that we just uh, we downloaded the node so node.js is already over here on your C drive under the programs uh, directory so go here this is your path so just copy the path and come over here and paste as a value of your this variable this node underscore home and then click on OK so it should be done you can see I have already uh, node you can see this node underscore home I have already so it's the same thing you have to do so what will uh, happen why you need this because this environment variable it means under this node underscore home variable you have the path you declare the path where you have the node on your system so when you write any uh, JS JavaScript code on your editor say VS code uh, and then when you run that script that script needs a compatible environment on your system that can understand the JS language so where that we know this you have a uh, you know the node on your system but where that system a uh, node so that node you know uh, on your system under that's environment variable right environment variable node underscore home that environment variable is linked have the path of your uh, uh, that's a node on your system so through this you know through this environment variable it, it, it will you know consider as a global variable so it's open to any language but when there is there will be any scripting language based on JS and it needs the support from node you know it will automatically find this variable or because this variable declared as a global variable and it will you know pass that's where the the node on your system and and it will get the, the you know the node on your system and it will execute that your JavaScript through that node in your machine that's why you know you need to create an environment variable and and uh, and you have to pass the right directory path of node uh, you know on your system and it will automatically so your script your JavaScript will talk you know through this node underscore home variable what it where what is uh, you know about your node on your system okay so that's the second thing number third you have to download one of the editor because you have to write the code why are you gonna write the code you need an editor right so for based on JavaScript you know I prefer or this is pretty famous that you know the Microsoft they have the one of the very light version and very nice uh, very uh, you know very uh, uh, I would say uh, famously uh, acceptable editor which is called Visual Studio Code or VS Code so you can use the VS Code like you know so we know it's like our Selenium mostly we use uh, uh, Eclipse so here for the VS uh, for Node.js project you can use the VS Code so where you can find the VS Code just uh, search on online right search on online okay so open there go there so open in your browser and then just search you know uh, VS Code download VS Code or maybe hold on download VS Code right. so it will take you to the so type you know download BS code so you can go to their official website so go here and then you know as per your system if you use Windows or Mac you know just click on Windows and then you can easily start it you will see it's already started to download exe file okay so I'm not going to you know continue this because I already have the BS code so all you have to just you know download this uh, exe, exe file and then uh, click on next thing next and follow the wizard and complete it so when you're done you know you will see there will be you know uh, there will be icon on your system it's called Visual Studio Code you know something like this and then if you double click on the icon you know it will open like this so this is your welcome or you know f uh, uh, the first visual uh, you know look for your BS code so this is the editor of 
VS Code or you can search uh, Visual Studio Code. So where we're going to write all of our, uh, you know, the code, our project, everything. Okay, so that's about the VS Code. And uh, next is so this part is done. Cr uh, download the VS Code editor. Next is create Cypress project folder. So when how are we gonna start a new brand new project? So to do this, you know, so let's uh, go to your you know uh, file explorer and then probably you know you just uh, go anywhere wherever you put you know uh, you are going to uh, comfortable to write your uh, create your project so I'm here so let's uh, create a you know one probably I'll write a project over here so write a just create a empty folder say folder give a name whatever name you say but I will give Cypress um, example or yes Cypress example okay or Cypress automation whatever you give a name this is your project okay project name so this is your the folder it's over here and then now you know inside this folder all of your project all the code all the files is going to be there how you are going to you know integrate this folder with your VS code it's very simple so go to open your VS code come to over here and then you can say uh, open I think so workspace uh, open folder and come to the place where you have that folder you created like Cypress example open that set folder here we go okay so your folder you can see your Cypress example you know the project is already here now underneath this you know you are going to write your install your Cypress and then you will you know update all of your dependency and then you will start it to write your test cases everything okay so pretty much that's all for this video so that you know we you are very um, a clear idea how to set up your environment variable what uh, software you need so what tools you need before you start and then you know that our next tutorial would be how we're going to start a very simple test cases how we're going to write the test cases how we're going to install the Cypress all those things running the test cases um, explain some other like a, a test runner features and and run the test cases in uh, in a browser mode as well as run the test cases in headless mode so you know stay tuned and uh, you know wait for the next tutorial thank you so much have a good one